my father was a very quiet man. <laughs> my mother used to say, no conversation. And he'd say, well, now, Ma, what do you want me to talk about? <laughs> that, that was the sum total. The Army, the IRA. He never yeah. talked about it. You know, how disgusting it was and how, how awful it was. But he didn't, he never said anything else about that at all. Portrait of a rebel father, painted with words spoken by a rebel daughter. Lessons of wrong and right on a canvas of black and white and a green, white and orange flag held aloft like a national brag, while tears are wiped away by a bloody drag. Forget the cost, lose the price tag, hide it in a bag, throw it in a river and let it drown. Because patriot is just a noun. The past is the past, he who was first is now last. The Brits are gone, but they're not forgotten. They left us to starve while our crop was rotten. It's an identity crisis of empire proportions, with referendums on divorce and abortions. Proving our independence, our ability to change and survive. But what about the past? What about the heroes? When did they take a dive? Don't they deserve to be kept alive? Not in a museum where things gather dust, but in our memories where they won't rust. In a vault of sacrifices, of mores and trust, of mistakes made and bodies laid, wars and murders and prices paid. That generation had a tale to tell, a story to sell, and a future to strive for, a future to die for. But those were words they didn't speak. That was a fame they didn't seek. They climbed the highest mountain and reached the peak, fought for the strong and fought for the weak. Didn't shed any tears or allow any laughter, and spoke nothing of it in the years that came after. <laughs>